it's Monday morning, it's drizzling, which is a bit of a shame because we have got a tractor coming on demo today and it's pretty big and it's a bit of a beast. But I'm tired, got woken up just after four this morning by the police because there's some horses running around a field of wheat. Anyway, apparently they're still there, no one knows who owns them. So we're going to go down in the buggy and have a look. There's a bit of metal in the boiler, so Rob's just getting out now with me dad. Yeah, the police have taped the gateway, stopped the horses going out onto that junction which they were last night. But I've just come in and if you look, they've actually been chewing off the ryegrass, which is actually quite handy. Um, some that are chewed off, some that are chewed off. Um, but the rest of the field, uh, they're over there now. What is there any warranty on that Keris umbrella or Ceres? You're old now, she's 25. There we go. They're obviously getting through that pallet city. It's not surprising they're getting out there when you think how green the, this field looks compared to, to that one. There's not a lot of grass in there, it's pretty short. But it needs a better fence, doesn't it? I forgot to tell you the quiz question from the other day of how many bales the baler have done. 8,736. So uh, I think some people guessed pretty close to that. Today's quiz question is, them horses had rugs on, which is what people call them, horse rugs. But the police called them... What did the police call them? Blankets. The police says they've got blankets on. So... What what is the correct term? Because a rug is something you put on the floor, but for some reason you call them horse rugs. Andrew was probably right saying that they had coats on, and the police were kind of right as well, saying that they had blankets on. But I don't know. It's one of them weird things that the English language has where we call things so many different names, and often it's not the right one. What would you call it? What what's the official name for a for a thing you put on a horse to keep it warm? Just winding these out now. I'm gonna get a pin weld it to the and then it'll have more triangulation on the ramps stop them shearing off yeah the triangulation on that now is far stronger than that there that's that's nearly like a set of bolt croppers the leverage it's got from the high ramp so if we put that a pin about here put that on but that's not very long so we'll just have to cut a cut a, a rim off this ball so that it um, fits on easier Currently uses R clips, but they're a bit of a faff, so I'm going to swap it to linch pins. So I'm just going to drill that hole a little bit bigger. That's better now. Decided to drill all the holes out bigger because then, if ever one of them things gets bent or missing, if we leave the old ones as spurs in the toolbox, then at least you can just kind of revert back to the old method. And if we are using all linch pins, then at least we've got some with us. I'm going to cut that off as well, make it narrower so we don't have to stick the pins out as far. Can anyone guess what it is? Ah, it's the new Q series, so I think it's 280 horse, 300 horse. Banco transmission, <coughs> vent, Sisu uh, engine. So it's basically a 728, 728, it's a lot cheaper, apparently. Everyone loves a tractor backing off a wagon video or thumbnail. Maybe dad backs into it, it's only been here two minutes. He could wait, you know, two minutes just to move the ramp to pull the trailer out of the way. But now he's decided he wants to do his drying floor. It's a uh, pretty snazzy daylight running lights. For some reason they don't really show up on the camera. He's got them on the back there as well, and on the side here. It had wheel weights on, but where it was last, it was a bit heavy for what they were doing. They took them off. Fairly meaty back end, very similar to uh, another tractor that we have in the yard that used to be green and is now black. 
but the best thing about it is it's got a Sisu engine in there, you know, made in Finland, a lot more reliable than the, the Deutz engines they put in the fence. Got an airline there. Yeah. It's good for blowing the cab out. It's an unlimited one, so it's got all the leather in it. The black interior. This, this is the one that was actually in the yard brand new the other week, to be fair. So we're gonna have a play on it and see what it's like. It's got some nice big clear displays in it. Two of them as well, so you can have the drill maybe on that screen in there. And the um auto guide on that one perhaps It'd be nice if we can get the drill on it and do a little bit of bean drilling but it's just raining at the moment so we had a full introduction of how it all works hopefully it's got a front pto on it as well so we might be able to if it dries up a little bit we've got a, a cover crop on a field that's a little bit unlevel so i think we might level it off with a sumo we could put the flail on the front do two jobs at once at the same size but they've just been showing me the the screen when it boots up. I don't know where the engine needs to be running. I think the engine needs to be running. No, it's coming on. You can tap. Maybe it does need to be running. Shut the door. That there, you can have the radio on it or whatever, but you can press this button. Then you can change what you want that display to put on. So you can have your spill valves on it, your rear linkage, all your different hours, fuel consumption, acres an hour, temperatures, operating hours, all on. So I'll put it back to the radio because I thought that was quite handy, knowing that. And then here, go click. So you want to set the transmission, just press the transmission. And then go in here and change all the settings that you want to do. Pretty easy. And then um, if you go back, you can check, set all your rev limits. For your, for your cruise control settings on these buttons. Um, and what else was he showing me? You can set your spill valves up on that one and it's all little sliders. So it's actually quite easy to use once you've been shown. Probably not as it, I don't know, I suppose the fence was complicated when we first got them, but we did, we have got our head around them now. Yeah, when you get the fence, they look really complicated. But once you've been explained all to you, it's so simple. And then every fence is the same as you get in it. Valtors are pretty much the same as well. But you've just got to have it explained to you for the first time. Andrew thinks we should swap the fast track, 724, the 936, for three of them. But you could also do that for three 728s as well. So, I don't know. We'll try it, see what it's like. But you can't go wrong with the engine. You can't go wrong with the transmission. So we had a full introduction of how it all works. Hopefully, it's got a front PTO on it as well. So we might be able to, if it dries up a little bit, we've got a, a cover crop on a field that's a little bit unlevel. So I think we might level it off with a sumo. We could put the flail on the front, do two jobs at once at the same size. But they've just been showing me the, the screen when it boots up. I don't know where the engine needs to be running. I think the engine needs to be running. No, it's coming on. You can tap. Maybe it does need to be running. Shut the door. That there, you can have the radio on it or whatever, but you can press this button. Then you can change what you want that display to put on. So you can have your spill valves on it, your rear linkage, all your different hours, fuel consumption, acres an hour, temperatures, operating hours, all on. I'll put it back to the radio because I thought it was quite handy knowing that and then here go click so you want to set the transmission just press the transmission and then go in here and change all the settings that you want to do pretty easy and then um, if you go back you can check set all your rev limits for your for your cruise control settings on these buttons um, and what else was he showing me set your spill valves up on that one and it's all little sliders so it's actually quite easy to use once you've been shown probably not as it i don't know i suppose the fence was complicated when we first got them but we did we have got our head around them now 
next stop beverly which is right on the east coast ready for doing a talk tonight i'm going looking around some farms this afternoon but i'll probably show you them tomorrow because the video will be getting too long for today right i'm here now that looks to be some sort of estuary i'm looking across near hull got put the wrong postcode in ended up going to isabel who works for ahdb's house rather than the hotel that she'd booked for me which is a bit of a shame so it added 35 minutes to my journey anyway i'm a minute away so we'll see what's happening around here this is cool spiral staircase into the uh, bed and breakfast room stay it's a big bathroom bed there another bed there so here i am Nature updates, anyone waiting for LED beanies? These are now back in stock, they'll be on the website. Well, they're on the website now. I've just got to do a little merch update to tell anyone that's emailing me. If you bought a fire stick and other stuff, then it's going to arrive as two different things. Don't panic if like one thing's arrived, it's missing bits. We're dispensing all the merch from here, all the clothing and then the fire extinguishers because they've got to travel differently going somewhere else so you get two packages don't email me because <laughs> i'd rather do fun things like read the bumper james travis is 31 bill Rhodes is 26 steve flitter is 65 harry key is 13 ella harvey is 19 adam Byrne is 33 james Howie is 31 mark walker is 62 and kath cornthwaite is 68 that's with love from david £27,622 raised. If you want to be on there, there's a link under every video. I'm going back inside because by the looks of how many hats are going out, some of you have seen the weather forecast. <laughs> so I'm now in the Shakespeare Inn or the Shakespeare, Shakespeare Arms. And I'm doing a talk tonight for Patting Pat Patrington. Patrington <laughs> Discussion Society. So I might see somebody there if you're watching this. If not, I'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching.